Does acupuncture even work? And if so, how does it work? It's funny, I've gotten this question from many people. And what's interesting is that when I meet with physicians, they often are very intrigued by it, especially acupuncture's newest research on relieving back pain as a viable option as an alternative to the opioid epidemic. But what's interesting is that people are tend to be in two camps. The people who have experienced it or have seen it work or have read research on it, and they're wondering, well, how does it work? And the people who aren't even clear if it works, they have no exposure, and they think it's a bunch of hogwash. So does acupuncture work? And if so, how does it work? And of course, in this video, I'm gonna be offering biomedical explanations, not Chinese medicine explanations. Hey guys, I'm Alex Hine, current doctoral student in Chinese medicine. Now, in this one particular study where they looked at 79 previous studies, and the researchers wanted to analyze possible mechanisms of action for acupuncture, and here's what they found. Now, what was interesting first was that 33% of these studies found results, but no, quote, physiological explanation for how they worked. Now, in particular, the studies mentioned for particular conditions were addiction, auditory hallucinosis, breach presentation, chronic fatigue syndrome, chronic sinusitis, depression, irritable bowel syndrome, mental fatigue, overactive bladder syndrome, and stroke rehabilitation. Now the NCCAM, a council for alternative medicine, proposed several possible theories for how acupuncture works. Again, this is biomedically, since Chinese medicine obviously knows how Chinese medicine works, according to Chinese medical theory. Quote, it is proposed that acupuncture produces its effects through regulating the nervous system, thus aiding the activity of pain-killing biochemicals such as endorphins and immune system cells at specific sites in the body. In addition, studies have shown that acupuncture may alter brain chemistry by changing the release of neurotransmitters and neurohormones and thus affecting the parts of the central nervous system related to sensation and involuntary body functions, such as immune reactions and processes that regulate a person's blood pressure, blood flow, and body temperature. So one of the big theories right now is that acupuncture stimulates the release of neurochemicals. So in 56% of these articles cited, this is what the results were. This theory that acupuncture stimulates the release of neurochemicals, usually opioids, like endorphins, for example, or serotonin, was cited in studies for pain relief, for nausea and vomiting, for obesity, for Parkinson's, for irritable bowel syndrome, for immune function, for lower esophageal sphincter relaxations, that's usually related to acid reflux, blood pressure, postmenopausal vasomotor syndrome, colitis, and sleep quality. Now, one of the second biomedical theories is that acupuncture actually affects the autonomic nervous system. So several of these studies related to autonomic regulation involved changing the heart rate, heart rate variability, blood pressure, or respiration. Other ones involved changes in smooth muscle, sleep quality, urinary incontinence, sweat rate, the rate of transient lower esophageal sphincter relaxations, again, that's usually in relation to acid reflux studies, or nausea and vomiting. And one of the third theories right now is how acupuncture can actually locally affect specific tissues or specific nerves. So three of the studies mentioned here refer to these local effects of acupuncture. For example, on connective tissue, changes in circulation, vasodilation, or effects on immune function. Now, as to whether acupuncture works or not, there's a growing body of research, from my own direct experience, obviously being a patient first and now studying it. But I think the biggest thing is if you are maybe wondering if it works, to go try it and you can see firsthand whether or not it works inside your body, since nothing ultimately works unless it changes something for you. Well, what's the Chinese medicine explanation, though? Obviously, I shoot these so that people can understand Chinese medicine and acupuncture. Well, how does acupuncture actually work according to Chinese medicine? Basically, what the ancient Chinese realized was that parts of the body were linked to other parts of the body. So sometimes, for example, a person has a pain in one place and it's coming from another place. Like, for example, having gallbladder pain and feeling it in your shoulder. Well, the origin is the gallbladder and digestive but how is it possible that pain can be referred up here? There's no direct conduit, at least that we're aware of. Well, the Chinese made note of these, pieced them together, and again, there's a big debate whether the channels or the points actually came first. And acupuncture is built off of the observation of these relationships. So, for example, Zhu Sanli, a point 
on the lower leg, you can easily stimulate the stomach and digestion or even generate a very, very strong feeling of warmth, like even as strong as drinking alcohol, by stimulating with one needle just the lower leg, Zhu San Li, is on the stomach channel. And that will send a sensation up the body, up the leg, into the stomach, even into the groin, sometimes even up into the chest, depending on how strongly it's stimulated. And basically the Chinese noted that for some reason these are interlinked. The symptoms can often be anywhere on the channel, so that's why, for example, stimulating a foot or the leg can affect the stomach, and that often the channels intertwine, and there are connection points, and there's referral patterns. And the true genius to me was that the Chinese were always looking for the connections. What is the relationship? Rather than, how are these things different? For example, if there's a stomach problem, what else is going on besides the stomach problem, and why are they related? That is the ultimate genius of Chinese medicine to me, whereas today in modern biomedicine, you know, a 17th century remnant of the philosophy of the time scientifically, we just look at the stomach or we look at the heart. Well, that doesn't always give us a clear answer of what's going on or why it's going on if it comes from somewhere else. So that is a, a brief overview of how the Chinese realized how acupuncture essentially works. Obviously, I've got other videos more in-depth on the Chinese medicine explanation, and those are obviously worth checking out as well. Now, before you go, I want you to leave a comment there below. Let me know for you, what are your biggest questions about Chinese medicine and acupuncture and what it can treat? Comment right there below. Hey guys, it's Alex. I hope you liked this video. The best way to stay in touch is grab that free guide on my site on the five daily rituals to add 10 years to your life with Chinese medicine. Click the monk dude right there to subscribe. Get the last video that just came out. And otherwise, grab that free guide on my site and I'll catch you in the next video.